you're all doing? My name is, of course, Alex, and welcome back to another daily vlog. Okay, so today, guys, I've got oh, I've got quite a bit on today. Um, I've, I've got I've got to tidy this room up. Um, I've got to record the second part of part two of redoing the ultimate setup, which is going to be quite boring, I think. The reason it's going to be boring is because I've got to sort out all that paperwork but I'm thinking now that I might do this tomorrow because... Because today I'm actually picking up my new car. If you guys have been watching my vlogs recently, you know I've been banging on about it. I'm going to pick up my new car today with some luck. Hopefully I can drive out the showroom with it. Just because it's got such a powerful engine in it and it's, you know, it's power to weight ratio is, is quite severe. For someone my age of 19 years old, it's really difficult, even though I've got two years no claims bonus, to get insured on the car that I'm picking up today. But I think hopefully with some luck, everything's gone through fine and I should be able to drive out the showroom with the car today. Right, so we just had some lunch, just been to walk the dog, been on a 20 minute walk. Now I'm gonna go pick up the car. I'm getting a lift with my dad, my brother, and my grandma, I think. Bye bye, Minnie. Oh. <laughs> I will uh, lock you for the last time. <laughs> yeah, it is sad, yeah. But as I said, moving on to bigger and better things. You can't stay the same forever. Onwards and upwards, that's it, Grandma. So I'm with my grandma, she's super eager. She's, she's going in the mini garage already. I'm here, I'm arrived. Let's go in and, uh, and see what's going down. So my car is literally inside here right now. Like, literally inside here right now. Look, it's right there. They've done me like a VIP pit inside the mini booth. All right, boys, how are you doing? Hi, thanks. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So you can have a sunroof. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, that is cool. Look at that. You've got dual zone air conditioning. Okay, so it's either side. So I can have it at 28. You can have it at 16. Yeah. If Just you're for normal AC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Audi's one of Mini's main competitors. If you if you put Audi's sat nav and screen at the side of this, it's horrendous. Really. Terrible. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, it's all top-notch gear, and that's yeah. why I got the main reason I wanted this is because I love tech. Yeah, yeah. So that's the reason. Oh, it's I got perfect those. car for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? So this is where before they send the cars to people, I'm actually like in the background of the garages now. They're getting all the cars ready, all the BMW cars and everything. Amazing. Check this out. Ready? Whoa. Right guys, I'm back home. I'm just gonna go and edit yesterday's vlog and then we'll come and talk about the car, okay? Alright, sweet. <laughs> okay, so so what I've got here is a load of GoPros. And, and GoPro mounts. I want to mount these on the car now. The reason I want to try and mount it now is because, well, these things, you're meant to leave them for 24 hours before actually using them. I don't really want to do that, so I'm just going to mount it now. I'm just going to put it right here. And the reason I'm going to put it here is because then I can look down the side of the car and at the tailpipes at the exhaust. So I'm going to mount that just there, get that on there, and then we'll, we'll have a chat about the car, and hopefully by the time we've chatted about it, That'll be set. So guys, I want to walk you round, round the car itself. First of all, the show that Mini put on for me earlier was just amazing. They sectioned off like a little bit of the showroom and was like, this is reserved for Alex Brooks. And then my car was there and uh, it was just really cool. So that was awesome. They really set the scene. Uh, and the thing is with Mini, they, uh, I'm not sponsored to say any of this. This car is not sponsored whatsoever. I bought this myself. Um, but, but the, the team at Mini were just absolutely amazing. As I showed you guys, they kept sending me video updates, which was really like strange, but awesome at the same time. And they sectioned off a bit of the showroom, and then here I am with the car now. Uh, so let's just have a little look around it. We've put the GoPro mount on that down, uh, down there. So as you can see, I've got my uh, 
Got my, uh, got the, got, got, oh, mate, it's just, like, gorgeous. It's, like, lost for words. Got my little spoiler there. Check him out. He's just, uh, he's just chilling. Got those two tailpipes there that make an absolute hell of a noise. John Cooper works, and obviously, I've already put on my Work Hard Anywhere sticker. Very nice. As you can see, the alloys actually protrude a little bit. Again, John Cooper works. Got the air intake. Daytime running LED on this car, which is awesome. And then this awesome air intake down the front. It just looks gorgeous. So, let me talk you through some of the tech. Now, I don't know a lot of this stuff yet. I, I, I've been editing today's video. This is my first time really going in the car, like having to spend some time with it. Um, but as you can see, this is the key. Uh, my wind mirrors fold in. So if I just press the unlock button, as you can see, it's going to bring the wind mirrors out. And if I keep holding this down, it's going to put down my windows and also it will bring up the roof. So you can do all of that from the key which is awesome and also same thing again if you hold down the lock button it will put the windows up lock the car and close the roof pretty cool in case you forget to do it it starts raining you've left your roof open you're in the house you just hold that down and it will close your roof for you put your windows up awesome stuff so without further ado let's get in the car you can already see the leds there and there bear in mind on the camera these leds are flashing in real life they're not flashing they're just on permanently so let's get a little pov action going on getting into the car i've got a gopro set up there uh, so you guys can see uh, what's going on i opted for the harman kardon uh, surround sound speaker system uh, which is absolutely awesome Awesome. We've got our rev counters here and petrol indicators here and then miles an hour here There's a little screen there got a big screen there and then guys check this out All I've got to do right I don't have to put the key anywhere. I can, I can just put it in there. I'll keep it in my pocket If I just flick the start stop button It's gonna turn the car on right just not just turning the ignition on not the actual car There we go. I managed to sort out the flickering so it's like on all the time now It's not flickering brilliant so as you can see here I don't know if you guys can see this but I've actually got my heads-up display there It's not focusing very well my camera unfortunately there you go So as you can see I've got a heads-up display and if I just I think it's a little switch down here If I click this little switch in as you can see it's gonna put away the heads-up display It should just tuck in away there look at that look at it bye bye So I've got down here what you call the iDrive system this controls this screen so as you can see if I twist that uh, you can go around all of the different things. It has these really cool things like if you turn up the volume, it actually, you see this going up here, if I turn the volume up. That thing goes up there, really cool. Here is the switch for our LEDs. So if I toggle through this switch, it's gonna go ahead and change the color of uh, the LEDs here. So you have a green, anything you want. They're on either in the foot wells down here. I quite like blue, pretty, pretty snazzy. Got the switch here to flick it into sport. Uh, and mid and then green and if you put it in sm sport I love it because it says here maximum go-kart feel and all this goes red and it just looks more angry and if you go down here to driving excitement you can see here if I start the car up if I put my foot on the brake start the car up you can see here that if I rev the engine we get torque and power on this screen and it's also on the heads-up display too you know what that does Whoa, as you can see here, it says we're in sport going zero miles an hour. Right, okay, let's, sh should we go out for a little drive then? And I'm gonna try and mount that GoPro on the back and hope that it doesn't fall off. Right, so guys, I've been driving for about five minutes now, just driven away from my house, otherwise you guys are gonna find it really easy to find out, you know, where I am and stuff. So I've driven about five minutes out and I've just come in to a national speed, speed limit zone. I'm traveling currently at 30 miles an hour right down here. I'm just gonna wait till I get past these cars because I just, I just, okay, it's like my first time in here, like, properly driving this, other than bringing it back from the garage, which I was, like, petrified of doing, but I'm going to put my foot down, let me put it in, okay, I'm not going to put it in sport, that's 60 already, see, I can't even, I can't even do that, <laughs> that, that, that went from 30 to 60 in, like, two seconds, <laughs> like, that is just, it's not even in sport yet, okay, okay, I'm going to get a bit more around this corner, right, what I'm going to do is slow down outside this garage, they're all going to think I'm an absolute Stop to the middle of the road, right? Three, two, one. Loud. 
please still be there? Yes, it's still there, and it's recording. Okay, it's night time now. I've just got back from a little bit of a night drive. Um, I've, I've been in here with like with like a memory stick. I don't know where I've put it. I, oh, it's in there. I put a load of music on this memory stick, and I've transferred it over to the car's hard drive. So now I've got a load of music on on the car's hard drive, which is awesome. Overall, super, super, super happy with it. And I bought a bar of chocolate for my brother when I went to fill it up. With, uh, with petrol earlier. But yeah, like super, 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 super stoked with, look at the LED lights inside, it's so cool. What I'm not super, super stoked with though, is, is this. This is uh, like the second time that's happened. It's like the second time that's happened, there's been like a bottle or, or a Mars bar, um, like a Mars bar milkshake on, on my gate posts. That is really sad. Why would someone do that? <laughs> that is like, you have to be so brain dead to think that's funny. <laughs> like what? <laughs> right, so guys, it's fairly late now. I've just been inundated with work uh, this evening since I've got back. I uh, had a client phone me up saying their network was down, so I've been I've been on trying to trying to get all that monitored and make sure they're all okay. And then I had someone's whose birthday party it was, so I've made them like an edit for their birthday party. They hired me to do like a, a bit of an edit, so like I, I, I've, I've done all of that. Really enjoyed picking the car up with you guys and bringing you guys along for that experience. You can probably see by the video, I was just like ecstatic. I was like loving it. Absolutely love the car. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you like got a taster for what it's like to go and like pick up a car if you've never done it before. And it's pretty cool, honestly. It's honestly like one of the best things I've ever done. Like, And that's the moment, like picking up a car that you've bought brand new is one of the moments that I've always wanted to do. Like one of the things I've always ha wanted to happen. I think it's even on my productivity board. Look, I haven't looked at my goals in absolutely ages. I I just I just haven't and I wrote this probably quarter of a year three quarters of a year ago and I thought I was gonna get a John Cooper works by the time I was 25 never knew that I'd be able to achieve it by the time I was 19 so we can now cross that off the goals list because we've accomplished it and what's this eBay all items I'm, I'm sure I put all my stuff on eBay <laughs> so that's what I mean if you visualize your goals hopefully it will help you towards achieving them but for now guys I've got some more work to do so I need to go my name's been Alex, you guys have been awesome. Stay awesome guys and keep smiling. Thank you for watching today's video and I'll see you in tomorrow's vlog. Adios. Bye.